You ever spend hours doing this? Because you were trying to get that one weapon that comes from the amiibo. So you spend hours and hours dropping these chests on the ground only to finally get your bow or sword or whatever it is you're trying to get. And you fucking break it within 30 minutes of getting it out of the chest because you went and slapped a bunch of enemies with it. And so you decide, well, I really want that weapon again, so I'm going to start scanning these damn amiibo. And it, uh, it can be pretty lucky sometimes. You might scan it five times and get what you're looking for. But I've spent literal hours doing this shit. And I'm, I'm tired of it. So today, I'm going to show you how you can save hours and still be able to play with the weapons you want. For instance, the goddess sword here from the Skyward Sword Amiibo. Look how many I have. And I only needed one to get this many. And today I'm going to show you how. But, first, there's a few things you're going to need. You are going to need some multi-shot bows. So these bows right here that say times two, times three, times two, times three, times three, times two, times two. You're going to need seven of those. You can do it with six. It does work with six sometimes, but uh, it it's guaranteed to work if you have seven. Uh, from my experience, the more populated the area you're in and the more stuff that's going on, like, the bigger the game's having to load, uh, it works a little bit easier. But if you're somewhere where there's not a lot going on, there's no enemies near you, no NPCs, no buildings, nothing, you're kind of out in the open, you probably are going to need seven bows. But, what you're going to do, let's say, let's say uh, this shield right here. We got that out of the amiibo. Well, I want to actually use that shield, and I don't want to worry about it breaking. So what we're going to do is we're going to make some more of those shields. Let's show you how to do it. We're going to drop this here, just so we can use this. And then what we're going to do, we're going to pull out one of the multi-shot bows. We're going to make sure that we have the lightning, or the shock arrows, equipped. Make sure you have those on. Pull it out. Make, like, pull the bow out. Make sure it's in your hands. You have to have the bow in your hands or this will not work. Remember that. Drop the bow. Equip another one. Exit the menu. It drops the bow. We're going to drop this one. Equip the next one. Drop this one. Equip the next one. Drop this one. Equip the next one. Now, look at Link. He doesn't look right. <laughs> uh, this is what's called overloading the menu. You can do a lot of weird, funky stuff while the menu's like this. Uh, what I'm going to show you how to do is duplicate items and how to transfer durability from one item to another item. So if you have a super weak, like, rusty sword, well, we're going to be able to make that as durable and as powerful as the big Goron sword. I'm going to literally transfer that durability to, like, a, a crappy weapon. I'll show you how to do that. And you can do that with shields as well. So we can make that hero shield that's on my wall over there as powerful and as defensive as the Hylian shield. It's going to be amazing. So once your menu is like this and Link looks all funky... Uh, let's see here. What shield did I have on? So I have on the Hylian shield. That means if I go to that wall over there to duplicate it, it's going to duplicate the one I have equipped. So before we overloaded the menu, you want to make sure that you equip the items that you want to duplicate. Uh, let's use the shield for instance this time. We have the Hylian shield on, but we're going to equip the hero shield. Link didn't change. It says we have the hero shield on, but we exit the menu. I still have the Hylian shield on my back. So what we're going to do, put the Hylian shield there, and we're going to take it right back. Go to my inventory. Looky there, it just spawned me a Hylian shield in my inventory. We're going to drop that. I now have the hero's shield on my back. So pick up these bows. We're going to re-overload the menu. 
This right here is the worst part of this, is just getting the menu to overload. But, uh... If you're lucky like me and have all your multi-shot bows in a line, you can overload it pretty quick. Okay, now we'll switch. It says we have the Hylian shield equipped, but obviously we don't because the hero shield's on my back. Put it down, pick it up, and boom, we got another one. Now, how do you transfer the durability? How do I make my hero shield as powerful as my Hylian shield? Uh, it's pretty simple. It, you do it almost the exact same way. Pick the shield or weapon that you want to transfer the durability from. Equip that. Equip the strongest thing you have. My experience, if you don't have the big Goron sword from the Ocarina of Time amiibo, this hammer, spring hammer you get from Kilton, you can beat the crap out of mobs with that thing before it breaks. So it's a pretty good supplement. But you can get like a Royal Soldier's Broadsword that has durability up plus. Uh, that is a really good one too. Um, but it, it doesn't really matter. You can do this with almost anything. And you can do this over and over again. So if it says your weapon's about to break, just stop using it. Come back to this. Dupe it. Or not dupe it, but like overload your menu. And then you can simply just add the durability from one of these brand new big Goron swords to the weapon that's damaged and it'll be instantly repaired you can now repair your weapons as long as they don't fully break so how do you do it well we're going to equip hylian shield what's my uh there we go what's my game recovers <laughs> okay equip the shield Put my bow, pull out the bow. Drop. Drop. Nope, shit, I didn't leave the menu. See, I'm still new at this too. Everybody fucks up. It's okay. Alright, let's do it. Now, just equip the shield that you want to transfer the durability to. So this new shield right here that we have. Whoops. Equip it. It says we have the hero shield equipped, but we have the Hylian shield on our back, which is what we want. So now, just block, jump, and hit A to shield surf to damage the shield. And you've successfully transferred the durability. Uh, what I usually do after I transfer durability is I'll instantly go over here, pick up my bows, let the game do its thing, catch up for a second, and then I'll just, like, walk outside. Now it's usually safe to remove it. Switch it back. And now this thing should be able to block 19 lasers from a guardian, just like the Hylian shield. Not only that... I have three of them, and I didn't have to spend four hours grinding these stupid chests. Well, how do you do it with weapons? Weapons are just a tiny bit different. It's actually a little bit easier to do it with weapons, and I'll show you why. First off, make sure you have whatever you want to duplicate on your body. So I'm, I'm gonna do big Goron swords, just for the meme, because they're a little bigger. All right. Pull your bow out. Drop and equip. Drop and equip. So simple. This doesn't get any simpler. Alright, now, just go in here. Any weapon you want, just switch to it. Now, throw your weapon. And go pick it up. Oh, wait, you can't pick up a weapon. But we just threw our weapon. Why? Oh. It just generated a brand new sword. <laughs> so, what do we do here? We're going to pull the bow back out. I don't know if I could drop stuff. Is it safe to drop stuff? Let's try this. Make me some empty slots here real quick. Pick up the Goron sword. Make sure I'm overloaded still. Yes, I am. And it says I have the Goron Sword equipped, so we're going to 
equip something else. Throw it. Pick it up. Pull out my bow. Go back into the menu. We're not overloaded. You can see the weapon. That means we are no longer overloaded. But I got two swords that run. So now we'll have to... Uh... Oh, this is another good little hint. Uh, oh, let's see. If you are trying to dupe something and you go in here after you've overloaded your menu and you do this. Like, let's say you have the hero shield on and I want to change to this. If you see the shield and you see it change... Your menu is not fully overloaded anymore. That means you need to try it again. And if you keep doing it and keep doing it and it's not working, save your game and then just load that save. If you just load it right up, it should fix the problem. Just overload your menu again and it should work perfectly fine. Well, you could do bows as well. It's a little more complex, but if you play around with it, you can do bows. Just make sure that the... Uh, the very last bow you equip is the one you want to duplicate. Uh, do it the same way as the shield. Just take one of these bows off, set it on the ground, and then use this plaque. Set it down, pick it up while the menu's overloaded, and you'll dupe it. No problems. Same way as the, same way as the shield. I hope this helps somebody because it's helped the hell out of me, and I absolutely love running around with a different shield than the Hylian shield. Because, yeah, it is the best shield, and I love it. But, you know, it's nice to have some variety mix it up a bit uh yeah so have fun if you have any questions leave them in the comments and either me or somebody else might help you out and uh share this with your friends it helps me out like the video see you guys next time